Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will take you today to the four corners of India. ये पर्दा सिस्टम छोड़ देंगे तो हमारा समाज का नाम भी खराब होगा नहीं हम नहीं जाने देंगे पर मैंने सामना किया मैं कि ठीक है आपको बुरा लगे तो लगे मैं तो जाऊंगी याचिन बेशर जो है इट्स लाइक अ डैगर व्हिच इज गॉन टू द चेस्ट एट नो पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एनीबॉडी कैन लुक एट अस Mahasagar, we think it is endless. It is infinite in what it can give us. There are a lot of lessons in life that you learn from nature. A koi zo trans man or is the target zo a koi zo mui bani. Let there be uh, love. In other countries, heroes are created, and in India, heroes are born. <laughs> oceans they control everything they control the weather they control the climate they control the oxygen we breathe without a healthy ocean we don't have a healthy planet most people stare up into space with wonder yet we have this almost alien world in our planet just teeming with life think of a city high rise buildings tiny houses complex traffic systems it's really the mumbai of the ocean our very existence as a human race to a very large extent depends on the oceans without a healthy ocean we don't have a healthy planet so my name is uh, venkatesh charlu i started out as a banker i was 11 years a banker in hong kong and then i moved back to india it was a very unusual way i got into this one day i was diving and the anchor got stuck so i went down to free it and in the process i came across a net what is called a ghost net which means it's an abandoned net but what happens with these nets is that they continue to kill so a huge big angel fish got caught in it 
and it could not escape and it was struggling so when i found it it was still alive so i freed it it was so exhausted it could not even move it just lay in my hand and then after a, f- a, f- a few seconds it recovered and very slowly it got up and it went off so i just stayed there and i was watching it it just went till there it turned around and came back and i just put my hand up and it just kind of rubbed against my hand and stayed around me this was you know if somebody else had told me this story i would say yeah yeah you know he is lying but it happened to me and it was like the animal was trying to say thank you to me so what is the core is an interesting question because a yes most most people don't know what corals are <laughs> when you say coral we usually refer to a colony of very very small animals living together tightly integrated almost like an apartment complex in gurgaon or delhi so all of these corals they basically have different individual units called coral polyps all of them start growing together and they take on different different shapes and they have different protection mechanisms defense communication mechanisms etc once these start growing together they start forming a colony it's very similar to how we live right they start forming a colony and slowly 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 other animals start interacting with them it becomes like a ecosystem corals are not a very large part of the oceans they only comprise about 0.0001% of the oceans but 25% of the animals that depend on the survival actually uh, depend on the coral reef because the web of life that exists in the coral reef doesn't exist anywhere else where everything is interdependent like like a forest they protect the coast from wave action and tsunamis so it prevents damage to a lot of uh, coastal region coral reefs even though they are seemingly insignificant they have a really significant impact hey guys i'm nadia and uh, i'm from the uk i remember the first before i was a diver i did like a try dive in the great barrier reef and i remember seeing the reef and it was just dead and i was so sad because i'd heard that the reef's like amazing there like the best place in the world to see the reef it was just dead and i remember feeling really sad you you're going and exploring corals in andamans or bali and you see that they're bleached because of global warming i feel like something usually hits you it was just dead it's been ruined and it's been ruined by us um what exactly is climate change how did it happen we need to understand this each and every one of is responsible for this it is more than the species the genes the family the order the entire class of organism would go extinct and at the rate we are going very soon there will be nothing left we know we all fight our own battles we cannot save the world trying to do everything and anything i wanted to do something special something which made a difference so what we do is basically we take we collect corals which have broken which are still alive from the bed so we pick those up and then we cut them into very small pieces like that and we put four fragments 
on each corner. One, two, three, four. And then we put them on metal beds, which we have put down. And we put six plus six, two rows of six tiles, that is 12 tiles. And we had to buy very special epoxy and you mix those and it hardens in 15 minutes. But it is coral friendly. I designed a structure which is like almost like a pyramid. It's like panels, right? So that they are see-through and uh, the fish can go in, come out, and they offer no resistance to the water. We are using AI now. We are basically training models to understand what a coral is and to answer, hey, if I give you a picture, can it tell me where the corals are and can it outline all the corals? If we can infer the size of the corals from the pictures without any human work, then we can take hundreds of pictures and analyze how the corals are growing. We've monitored that for now two and a half years. They're growing very well. They grow much faster than any other type of coral transplantation. And to date, almost more than a million fragments of coral have been transplanted everywhere. There are a lot of lessons in life that you learn from nature. Even though what we're doing might be very, a very small step over here, we're hoping that uh, this, along with the efforts that other people elsewhere are doing, together comes together and helps make a difference. Which will finally lead to a better world for all. To make a difference, you know, it sounds like a very big problem. We are always hearing about huge problems which we think, what can we do? Can I see how many people love sports here? Sports, as we thought to be neutral and progressive, turns out to be categorized on the basis of gender for men and women. What happens to all those people who do not fit in the binary? Some of them identify as transgender, intersex, and queer. The team became a hope for everyone. trans men, one benefit of sports is that it doesn't have any language. My name is Adam Hanjabam and I am from Manipur, Imphal, and I run this organization called YAOL, uh, which means revolution. Who am I? <laughs> Hi, hello. My name is Jenny uh, and my friends call me Jen. So we mostly work with people from LGBTI community.
it was just a whatsapp group of people finding support and kind of you know trying to create a safe space for uh, young people like me who were facing crisis they know i look like I look like a boy, but the thing is, a girls. देखने तो लड़का की तरह हो गया, इसलिए हमारी पिता ने पहली बार तो मत करो, मत करो बोलता है और बाल काटने भी थोड़ा मारते हैं। पर मेरा मन अंदर से तो हम तो लड़का की तरह हैं ना। I told to my father and parents, uh, but they didn't agree. मैंने नहीं बताया मेरा सब देखकर वो लोग समझ गया. And most of the time, queer or people who do not fit into the binary of men and women, somehow they are kind of left out because uh, they don't feel safe in playgrounds or they are bullied a lot. I am a footballer and I am an India player. They do not understand what we feel, our feelings. I also started realizing that this it's not only with me, but this is with many queer people or many people who do not fit in the binary in all over the country and maybe beyond. Firstly, I, I am not a sports person, <laughs> but definitely I, I know the importance, I know the kind of, you know, um, love that everyone has for sports, especially football in a place like Manipur and Northeast region. I thought football is my life, still my, my uh, last breath, I will only attach with football. When we play, when somebody plays football or when somebody is having a game, people are just playing it for the love of it, you know. Sometimes we forget what's the gender of the people. But when you come together as a team, it's your skills. It's, it's nothing to do about your gender, it's nothing to do about where you are from or who you are. It's a universal language, like football it itself is a language. <laughs> That idea struck somehow, then we started, you know, uh, this initiative called Queer Games, where you connect with other people and somehow that breaks binary in many forms. People cheered and they kind of, you know, uh, somehow there was not the ridiculing part. <laughs> People might see it from any, any part of the world and they will connect to it. Football became that medium which was lacking among all of us. Football became that vocabulary to connect the parents and the child. Yeah, I find very peace and very happiness from here. The Supreme Court, they have recognized transgender as a third category of gender, so why, you know, hold them back? Refi, how do you call footballer? Or do you have to call Refi in India? I have feelings that I human being. I have feelings that I am a human being. I have feelings that I am a human being. I have feelings that I am a human being. I 
The new India, as we say, for, for us, the new India is about more about inclusion, more about diversity. Let there be, uh, you know, love. I think that is the only thing I hope for. Our abilities cannot be restricted by gender. Sports is played for the love of the game. Who are we to stop somebody from playing their true self? अपने देश में, अपने राज्य में, अपने जिले में, अपनी पंचायत में और अपने गांव में 50 percent population महिला है। घूंघट का पर्दा तो अलग होता, एक सफेद पर्दा भी लगाना होता है। तो सफेद पर्दा लगा के वो इतना रहता है, जैसे हाथ भी नहीं दिख सकता है, पैर भी नहीं दिख सकता है। मन के मंजीरे आज खनक नहीं लगे। झूले थे चलना कदम हिरक नहीं लगे। अंग बाजे में दंग सा फुर मेरे जागे सांस सांस में बास बास में दिन को ही साजे लाए दिल ये गाने लगा है मुझको आने लगा है खुद पे ही एक बार खुद पे ही एक बार In 1991 and 1992, we were training here in Mahila Handpump Mystery. There was a town in the past, in Harmada. I took them and took them and took them. A handpump was bad, and they had a demand. And there were 6-7 Mahila. That 6-7 Mahila group was with me in Harmada. When they opened the handpump, they all took the handpump. They said, this handpump is not a handpump, this is a heavy work, this is a heavy work, what do you do? You are showing them, and they are doing this. So they taunted them. They said, this is a young girl, 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 लेकिन मैंने उनसे हाथ जोड़ के विनती की कि देखिए आपका हैंडपंप वैसे भी खराब है और अगर ये लोरिंग गिरा देंगी ना तो मैं गारंटी लेता हूं कि आपकी लोरिंग का हम बिल्कुल निकाल के इसको सही करेंगे आप दो घंटे तीन घंटे थोड़ा पेशेंस रख लीजिएगा और वो पंद्रह बीस तीस चालीस लोग उनको जैसे तमाशा देख रहे हैं वैसे देख रहे थे जब उन महिलाओं ने खोला और दो ढाई घंटे में उस हैंडपंप में पानी आने लग गया दिया तो उन्होंने सबने तालियां बजा के और मिठाई लाके दिया आज उन पुरुषों को अगर मैं जाके कहता तो वो विश्वास नहीं करते लेकिन उन्होंने प्रैक्टिकल देखा मेरा नाम मगन कंवर है और मैं बाउडी गांव से हूँ तो मैं कम पढ़ी लिखी थी तो मेरे को पता चला कि हम भी काम कर सकते हैं घर पे कैसे बैठ के अपन जीवन कैसे बिताएंगे को ऐसे लगे अपन कम पढ़े लिखे हैं तीसरी क्लास पास है अपन इस कंपोनेंट का आईसी का नंबर डायवर्ट का नंबर रजिस्टेंस का नंबर कैसे पहचानेंगे फिर भी मैंने सामना किया हाँ हमने सबसे बड़ी बात किया कि हम पढ़े लिखे लोग जो हैं हमने शिक्षा के दायरे को बड़ा संकीर्ण कर दिया संकुचित कर दिया हम शिक्षा केवल पढ़ाई लिखाई को ही मानते थे इसलिए हम कहते हैं अनएजुकेटेड लेकिन इस दुनिया में कोई भी व्यक्ति चाहे महिला है पुरुष है बच्चा है कोई भी प्राणी है वो अनएजुकेटेड नहीं वो शिक्षित है चार्ज कंट्रोलर सर्किट भी रजिस्टेंस का कलर कोड रजिस्टेंस को पहचानना आईसी का नंबर में सभी लगा लेती हूँ और सोल्डरिंग कर लेती हूँ टेस्टिंग कर लेती हूँ रिपेयर कर लेती हूँ छह महीने में जैसे लांटेन का सर्किट बनाना लांटेन को वायरिंग करना, लैम्प बनाना, लैम्प का वायरिंग करना, चार्ज कंट्रोलर बनाना, चार्ज कंट्रोलर की वायरिंग करना, कैसे रिपेयर करते हैं, ऐसे करते करते मैंने सीखा और अब मैं जैसे देश विदेश की महिला को ट्रेनिंग देने का काम कर रही हूँ।
ये सूरज सबके लिए यकसार होता है गरीबों के लिए अमीरों के लिए सबके लिए ही सूरज होता है समाज के दिमाग में ना औरत के लिए एक इमेज बनी हुई है कि भाई औरत है तो ये किचन में ही अच्छी लगेगी ये घर पे ही अच्छी लगेगी ये काम करती ही अच्छी लगेगी उनके हाथ में जब आप स्क्रू ड्राइवर देखोगे नट ड्राइवर देखोगे वायर कटर देखोगे इन सारी चीजों को देखोगे ना तो वो थोड़ा अटपटा सा ही लगता है समाज को मेरा परिवार वाले के नहीं आप कहाँ जाओगे आप ले तो पर्दा सिस्टम में आप कैसे निकलोगे घर के बाहर समाज में क्या कहेंगे कि हमारी बहू गई है और वो तो घूंघट भी नहीं निकालती है पर्दा सिस्टम भी नहीं रखती है और वो तो पुरुषों और महिला के साथ भी काम करती है तो अच्छा नहीं लगेगा पर मैंने सामना किया मैं कि ठीक है आपको बुरा लगे तो लगे मैं तो जाऊँगी मैं तो काम करूँगी अगर मैं देख के आई हूँ वहाँ पर मेरे लायक काम है तो मैं करूँगी तो जब धीरे धीरे उनका डर टूटा धीरे धीरे थोड़ा सा हमारा वैचारिक और सोच बदला और सोच बदलने के बाद में जब हमें उनको एक आजादी दी खुलापन दिया मौका दिया मंच दिया महिलाओं को वो निकली मैं सपने में भी नहीं सोच सकती थी, थी क्यों मेरे पर्दा सिस्टम अलग मैं पढ़ाई नहीं करती थी मैं गांव से बाहर निकली मेरे की कितनी पाबंदी हुई और मेरे जीवन में कितना अच्छा हुआ मैं बच्चे बच्चे को भी पढ़ा पाई उनको भी उनके पैर पे खड़ा किया लड़की गवर्नमेंट सर्विस में लगी अगर मैं गांव में रहती तो वहाँ ही रह जाती मैं आगे नहीं बढ़ पाती एक तो घर से मौका और एक मंच चाहिए अगर उनको वो दो चीज़ें मिल जाती तो कोई ऐसी चीज़ नहीं है कि महिला नहीं कर पाएगी नाम खराब नहीं किया नाम रोशन नहीं किया समाज का वहाँ पे एयरपोर्ट पे के आप कहाँ जा रहे हो राजस्थान की महिला इस तरीके से राजस्थानी ड्रेस में जाके आप तंजानिया क्या काम करोगे सेनेगल में क्या काम करोगे आप बहुत आपके पास डिग्री है क्या मैं बोली डिग्री नहीं है हमारे पास कम पढ़ी लिखी हूँ पर मेरे पास हुनर है This is Major General Leon Cardozo of the 5th Gorkha Rifles Frontier Force. India's crown, the Siachen Glacier. You might like to know as to what actually Siachen means. Sia actually means a rose. Chen means garden, and therefore Siachen means a garden of roses. This is ironic. Think of the soldier at Siachen. There's hardly any air to breathe. You can't eat because the food is absolutely frozen. अब सियाचिन ग्लेशियर जो है वो तकरीबन छिहत्तर किलोमीटर लंबा 800 मीटर के आसपास गहरा 2 से 8 किलोमीटर चौड़ा और काराकोरम और सोलतोरो रेंज के बीच में है कराची एग्रीमेंट उसमें वन ऑफ द डिमार्केट पॉइंट वर्स एन जे नाइन कराची एग्रीमेंट है वो कहता है एन जी ए नाइन एट फोर टू देन नॉर्थवर्थ अलॉन्ग द ग्लेशियर और वो जाता था सोलतोरो रिज लाइन के साथ साथ और तकरीबन के टू के डायरेक्शन में तो ये जो बीच का इलाका है ये इसमें है सियाचिन ग्लेशियर परवेज मुशर्रफ जो बाद में उनके चीफ ऑफ द आर्मी स्टाफ बने और उनके डिक्टेटर बने राष्ट्रपति बने 
उन्होंने अपनी किताब इन द लाइन ऑफ फायर में कहा है कि इतना हम लोगों ने प्लानिंग किया लेकिन भारत ने हमको जो है इसमें चकमा दे दिया तो ये जो झटका लगा पाकिस्तान को इतना ज़बरदस्त कि तब से लेकर के आज तक वो ग्लेशियर के कहीं नज़दीक भी नहीं है और पूरे का पूरा सियाचिन ग्लेशियर भारत के कब्जे में है सियाचिन ग्लेशियर जो है इस लाइक अ डैगर विच इज़ गॉन इन टू देस्ट जो जज्बा उसमें देखने को मिलता है वो आपको किसी भी सैनिक में कहीं पर भी विश्व में नहीं मिलेगा दे ऑल वॉन्ट टू इंश्योर दैट एट नो पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एनी बडी कैन लुक एट आस विद इन ईवल आय where do such men come from where do we find them we find them where we always found in the villages and cities of india we may not know their names we may not know who they are but they are there in the thick of the fight in the dark of the night at the hell of the height they are still there fighting the good fight ultimately it boils down to what will you take with you and i'd like to give you something that you can take speed your journey my countrymen a song of hope a song of defiance you are born for it you are raised for it it's in your blood the pages of history books which are waiting to be written countries may come and go but bharat will stay ko bharat tha bharat hai aur bharat rahega is bharat forever and don't you forget